Cauliflowers have a long history. They were described in Roman times by Pliny the Elder, and their name in English derives from the Italian name Cavolfiori. There are hundreds of different types of cauliflower found all over the world, but they were associated with Cyprus back in the Middle Ages and were considered a delicacy in France in the 16th century at the time of the Sun King, Louis XIV. They were introduced to India in the 1800s by the British and in fact, India is now one of the largest growers of cauliflowers, second only to China. Cauliflower consists mainly of water, which makes it perfect if you're trying to lose weight, along with vitamin C, fibre, vitamin K, calcium, vitamin B6 and vitamin B9. Eating cauliflower helps to keep our stomachs feeling full, and it's a natural anti-inflammatory, assisting to support our brains and nervous system, helping to reduce premature aging and also detoxifying our bodies, helping to improve our immune system. Studies have shown that eating cauliflower can reduce the risk of heart disease by cleansing the arteries and it also lowers the risk of cancer by reducing the spread of cancerous cells, especially in the colon and stomach. Eating cauliflower on its own can be a little bit boring as it needs a helping hand to give it a touch of taste. It makes a healthy alternative to rice as it's naturally gluten-free and easy to grate and can even be made into flour. Substituting it for pasta or potatoes can make a varied change in your diet and cauliflower pizza crust seems to be the on-trend thing in some pizza establishments. Cauliflower is so versatile that it can be made into a mash, it can be roasted, fried, steamed, boiled, grilled, pickled or even eaten raw. It's perfect company for other vegetables, for fish or meat. And why not pamper yourself a little bit and try a traditional cauliflower cheese? It's quick to make, affordable and very simple and perfect for lunch or dinner. Mmm, nom nom. <laughs>